Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, it's Mickey Oz. Oh, coming at you today with another video. Um, update with this condo. Before I give you the updates, honey, since I'm, I'm ready, having a bad day. Um, please subscribe, please, honey. If you do something today positive, please read the description if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much already for all the love and support. And thank you for liking and sharing and all that stuff to my videos. So up there with the condo. So basically, um, now he's like, remember, every time is a, oh, this is the last thing. Oh, this is the last thing. This is the last thing. So now we, this is the last thing. Now I need to redo the that stuff that took me an hour and a half to do with that girl, and I need to get it done by somebody else and get it audited or whatever the case may be. I guess to further prove what I bring and what I take out of the business. But like I told them, um, at the end of the day, um. I don't, when I make my money in my business, I go ahead, cause it's my business. I go ahead and you know, I just put it in the bank if I choose to, put it in the personal bank for the salon if I choose to. It's my money, so I ran it. Maybe I should have, you know, put all my money into the business bank account, but no, I didn't. Why? Because it's my money. So I felt like, why didn't I put my money in the bank account? For what? So now they want to track the money that I make, honey. Okay, well, first of all, I was living in a house that I was way paying. more than I was paying now. Second of all, they did not ask me for so much. Third of all, um, at the end of the day, it's not like I'm lying about having a business. I have my business license. I have my business license for years. I, so what's the issue? But it's like, it's always something else, something else, something else. So of course my attention is at, the, at a thousand. Of course my stress level is at a hundred and fifty. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm irritable. But unfortunately, people and parties do not understand what in what it is like to be mad at a situation and be able to listen to your frustration without taking the frustration personally, okay? Um, people want to choose, pick and choose what tone they want to get affected by, what tone they don't want to get affected by. Like, honey, I am stressed out. So if you tell me something that does not make sense, I'm going to question and be like, okay, well, what sense does that make? Because, example, I'm tired of people telling me, oh, well, if I was you, what I would have done or what you should do is wait two, three years and then get a house. Okay, well, Linda, that means that I have to, first of all, I wasted all my money. Second of all, I wasted all this money in this, doing my, um, in, with the income tax. Second of all, I, that also means that I now have to do, um, that also means that I wasted all this money in this hotel. That also means I wasted all this money trying to get this place. That also means that I'm also losing money because now this is, is a setback. And at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I know about me. It's not easy to come up with, you know, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars, okay? So at the end of the day, realistically speaking, if I go through all my money and I go and I am at zero because of all the stuff that has happened, I'm not gonna be able to pop off and be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get a house in two years because I'm gonna have all this money. So let me express myself and tell you what I feel, but why is there always an issue when I'm trying to express myself or the way I choose to talk or the way I word my 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 my, my sentence? Like, I, did not, I never understood. Well, I guess I just have two much words and the way I speak it's so, it, it just hurts or it just bothers or it's just too real. I do not know what it is, but I am tired. Like, it don't make no sense to me at all. Why can't I, why? Oh, well, I think you should do this. And if it was me, oh, look at it. Almost got hit. So basically, um, forget it. So I'm never going to turn over, honey. Thank you. Okay, because he saw me coming in and he gonna try to come in my lane because he wanted to do the most. You see, that's why I say you gotta be driving, being careful in Georgia. But, um, because he ain't put no signal. But yes, um, at the end of the day, it's kind of like, I'm just like beyond frustrated and people always have an opinion and always have a, oh, well, you should do this. And if it was me, I would have done it. Honey, if it was you, you would have done it. It don't matter what you would have done because I would have done something different too. I hate when people have an opinion about what they would have done. I would have. I could have. I would, but girl, you did not do none of that. So your situation, what you could have done, had not, did not do nothing for me. So don't keep on saying what you you would have done. 
because clearly I would have done something different if I knew what it was. But it's easy to sit back and enjoy the story and then say, oh, well, this is what, what I would have done because you know where I messed up and what happened in my situation when I went into it blind because you don't know what's going to happen. But now that you know what's going to happen, well, this is what I would have done. Well, if you would have done that, girl, you should have done it from the get-go. If you were so great, honey, you should have been great from the get-go. If you were so in tune with what you could have done and it would have been so easy, honey, that's what you should have done from the get-go and I would not be wasting my money. Like, come out. So I am already pissed off. I'm about to, I'm on my way to work. Uh, I'm frustrated. I am not having a good day. So I'm going to try to have it the best day that I can possibly have. Um, yeah, honey, I am frustrated. I am frustrated. I am pissed. I am. It's just too much. Like, I told I was like, I don't understand. Like, I'm not buying no freaking luxury home. I'm not buying no, you know, luxury condo. You know, no billion, quadrillion dollar condo, honey. Like, if I was doing all of that, then you could be like, okay, well, maybe. But, girl, like, you doing the most, like, if I don't pay my house, honey. If I don't pay my house, that means, one, something was happening. Two, honey, where am I going to live? Like, three, you don't have nothing to do with if I don't pay. That's a lender. If I pay my house or not, you still got your job regardless. So, why are you making it such a big deal? Like every other day you asking for one paper and then you say, oh, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now, mind you, the 28th is supposed to be the closing according to them. And now we still got, I'm still have to do paper. I got to work today. I got to work tomorrow. And I got to work to 24th. The 25th I got to work and I got to work to 26th. When do I have time to do this now? Cause honey, at the end of the day, I'm thinking I'm done. Like, and then this paperwork that I need Apparently it's so expensive that she was like telling me the lender, she was like, I mean the my real estate agent, she was telling me that she's gonna see she could get somebody and see if they could negotiate or make a payment plan. I was like, damn, is that expensive? So I'm like, everything is money. So it's like at the end of the day, honey, I don't know about you, but when I'm just losing money, losing money, losing money, losing money, losing money, and I'm just keep on, you know, just wasting at this point, because that's what I'm doing. I am frustrated, and I think I got every reason to be frustrated, and I think I got every reason to complain if I'm frustrated, and I think I got every reason to be frustrated because it's my money, it's my credit, it's my being, it's my life, it's what I'm going through. So I think I can be frustrated. So at the end of the day, why is it an issue? Honey, I did my job. Okay, I've done my job. So at the end of the day, they're not doing their job. They're the one constantly asking for something. Come that period. Yeah, you guys, I am so like this. Today is not my day. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry my chakras and my energy and, and all that stuff is not is not good. It's not put together, but I am stressing out. I am stressing out. I am stressing out. I am over it. I am. Oh God, it's just so bleeping much. Oh yeah, you guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a better day than me. I, I've already been ranting for the past 13 minutes. Um, I'm gonna have to trim this down a lot. <laughs> I am stressed out, and I normally don't come out here like that, but between being sleepy from work, being tired from work, honey, last night my my back was at a thousand. Oh, my feet was hurting, my shoulder was hurting, everything was hurting. I was like, Lord, mind you, I've not really worked like that, and then out of nowhere, I work from 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, nonstop, no breaks in between, no nothing. It was a lot. Honey, my back was saying, honey, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So at this point, I'm just putting everything away. But you know, you guys like seeing cleaning videos and all that stuff. So I said, why not just show you guys how I'm like, hello, honey, give you a little dance, make a little love, clean the shop tonight. <laughs> yes, Merry Christmas, everybody. I know this video is late. This was yesterday, honey. This is the day after tomorrow. So you guys are a little late. But Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have everything you want. And then some of you and your family are safe. Is the walk for me, baby. <laughs> so I'm still at work. Um, I just got a call. Um, basically, the lender um wants another freaking document, and it's basically a PNO, and he wants it to be audited. However, the person that I got to do it, they can't do it. He said that to do that, it's gonna cost me anywhere from two thousand to five thousand dollars. At this point, I don't know if it's because I did not, we did not send a sex video to this man. I don't know if it's because this man is pressed because, but at this point, we all feeling tried. Even the broker from the other people is saying, what's wrong with your lender? Why he sounds like he's always making excuses because every single time is an excuse. Every single time is like, oh, I don't have nothing or, oh, you didn't send me this when I did. So I called the, 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 the realtor and I told her, I was like, listen, I said, at this point, 
I'm through. I said, I can, I'm not, I'm not paying for no $5,000 to have uh, somebody look at my document from my bank statement and say, oh yeah, he did take money out. Oh no, he did not take money out. I'm not doing that. And I'm not paying $5,000. Cause while the time I pay $5,000, I said, honey, I'm not gonna have no clothing money, period. So I said, I'm not doing that. So I said, honey, at the end of the day, what you can do, I said, so she, I was like, you know, we just need to get some another lender. And you know, don't tell them I own my own business, honey. Tell them that, you know, at the end of the day, the business, you know, I share with somebody else, it's 50, 50, I don't know. But at this point I said, honey, I just literally feel tried by the lender. And then she said, well, she was talking to her realtor friend and she said that my lender is supposed to do the um, profit and loss, whatever. What's going on? Um, and it's not my it's not my realtor's fault. My realtor has done what she needed to do and beyond. However, is is the lender, and it's like at the end of the day, I'm not getting no quarter million dollar home. I'm not getting no mansion, or nothing like that. So it's like at the end of the day, why is it always an issue with everything? We're wasting time, wasting money, wasting energy, and it's like, oh yeah, you're done, but you need something else. <sighs> at this point, I do not, and and this is the thing. The man told him, okay, well, the $5,000 man, well, if you want to do this this way, he said, make sure that you get a letter from your lender saying that it's okay for you to calculate the transactions from the bank account that says, um, what you call it? Like Dollar General and stuff like that. You know, to be for toilet paper and stuff like that, if, if it's, it's okay for that to be counted towards that. He said, oh, well, uh, I can't tell you to do that. And um, he should know what he's doing. Honey, he's asking you a question because like the man said, the one that does this stuff, he said at the end of the day, there's no point of you paying $5,000 for this paper. And then he says, oh, you can't use that. So I got a phone with my boyfriend and I said, honey, you go ahead and you call this, this realtor and see what she says. Cause at this point, honey, I'm not giving out one more dime cause I'm done.